Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video blog. I'm coming to you from the community of Kea Mile, which is located about 13 kilometers away from Machu Picchu. And it's also located along the banks of the beautiful Urubamba River, which you saw at the beginning of this video. And we've been here for about a week doing some really incredible things. We visited a lake at the top of the Andes. We're gonna have a lot more information about that in just a second. But before that, here's Giria with some information about the bird research we've been doing here over the past week. Thanks, Chris. Every year, we visit Cayo Mayo to check on the state of the environment here because birds are one of the best indicators of biodiversity. We visit some local building hotspots for a rapid assessment in the area. One of the most important locations for us to visit is a lake used by the Andean cock of the rock. All of the males of this species in the area use this lake to display for females and reaching if it requires a hide into the Andean forests. These standing birds require intact forests and a healthy population is a good sign for the local environment. We are also banding birds while in Cayo Mayo, which requires us to set up nests along some very precarious trails. So far, we've been rewarded with some amazing birds, including a rare species of hummingbird, and this pair of adorable slight throated red stars. However, there's no doubt the highlight of banding this week was catching a pair of versicolored barbets. This stunning species can only be found in humid forests in the Andes. Thanks, Jiria. Now, during this visit to Cayo Mayo, we also took the time to visit a nearby lake. Now, this lake is located nearly 4,000 meters above sea level, and it was quite the adventure getting there. Few people have actually visited Lake Yaspai, and it's no surprise considering how difficult it is to reach. It's about a 30 minute drive along treacherous roads to reach the beginning of the trail. However, that only takes you to about 2,500 meters, and you still have a 10 kilometer walk reaching altitudes of nearly 4,000 meters until you reach this amazing lake. Along the way, we were treated to stunning views, mossy forests, snow-capped mountains, and as we approached the lake, we got to see incredible views of a waterfall which actually runs out of the lake. Once we finally made it to the lake, it did not disappoint. Not only was the lake itself stunning, but we were also treated to amazing views of snow-capped mountains illuminated by the sunset. Although there's no doubt everyone who made this journey will never forget the experience. The purpose of this trip was not just for fun. We also wanted to scout this lake for potential future research projects and also to help the local community develop ecotourism options which will help protect this beautiful and pristine location. Well that's it for this week's video blog. Now as you can tell it's been a pretty exciting week so far here in Camayo and we got a few more days left here before we return to Cusco where we're going to be doing some data analysis which is actually a lot more interesting than it sounds. Now don't forget to check out our website faunaforever.org and of course you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you again next week.